Hi everyone, welcome back to the channel. So today's video is my review from the Wolves game yesterday and to be honest I'm really impressed that we come away with a point from the Molyneux as well. You know Wolves at times have been one of the most difficult teams to beat and they've got the likes of Adama Traore who Miggy Almiron managed to outstat yesterday in terms of things like distance covered and passes complete and things like that so it really shows the player that we have in Almiron and the fact that he's better in a player of Adama Traore's quality really shows when Alan St Maximin's back fit and if Jolin Jolin I want him hopefully to start scoring goals but if he doesn't and we get another striker in or Dwight Gale steps up you never know what could happen at the end of the season but we have another issue of injuries at this moment in time. Dummett came back and went back off again, um, picking up another knock, which hopefully isn't too bad. But it's not great because players are a feel of getting rushed back. You know, and St. Maxman puts posts on, which are kind of hinting that he wants to, he obviously he's dying to get back. But I think Newcastle just need to calm down a little bit and make sure that the players get back to full fitness before we actually start to try and push them back into the side. So Dummett's picked up another knock. Dwight Gale has now picked up an injury as well. Obviously just starting to get into the side, just starting to get the hang of things as well. And then he goes and picks up an injury, which is unfortunate because he did give the layoff to Miggy to score his goal. And... It's, it's becoming a bit of an issue. Joe Linton played the second half apparently injured as well, but decided to continue. You know, <laughs> this week we're going to be playing with nine and ten men every week. We're not going to have enough with substitutes. And the two Longstaff brothers played, and Matty got a absolute brilliant off the goal line clearance, and Debravka as well pulling out stops like. He's got to be one of the top goalkeepers of the season because he is keeping us in games second and on in that team because his quality for what we bought him for in the league that we bought him out of, the way he's performing in the Premier League, he looks like a seasoned Premier League player and it's just pulling off performance after performance and he's doing fantastically well and he doesn't have the best defence in front of him either which is making his job even more difficult. But every week he still seems to impress everyone. It just, it's the matter now of what we do going forward. No Gail, no Joel and, and Hopefully, um, they're back for Tuesday because we now play Rochdale on Tuesday, FA Cup game. I want us to take it seriously because of the fact that we've got Oxford. We've already been drawn against Oxford in the next round, which would be at home. So there is no reason why we don't go for it and put out a strong team so we know we get through. By no means I'm underestimating Rochdale, but we need to be careful of them and we need to make sure that we progress to the next round. I will be going. I am hopeful that we put out a strong team because if we put out like another under-23 squad and we get knocked out, it's going to be very disappointing because Newcastle should be a club that should at least have aspirations to do well in the FA Cup because we're never going to do good in the league anymore because we don't have the money power of the likes of Arsenal, Man City, Chelsea, Tottenham. We just don't have it. So the FA Cup is our next best thing. So I don't understand why we shouldn't take it seriously. Wolves was a great test going into that game. You know, Fortunate to come away with one one because to be fair, Wolves at home should normally win it. If Dubravka wasn't on his day, should have won it. But then you also think if we had a fully fit team, we probably could have nicked the game as well. So I'm very impressed by the performance. Very happy with a one one draw against Wolves. I take it, and hopefully it puts me in good stead to play Rochdale on Tuesday. Let me know your thoughts in the comments below. Don't forget to like, share, comment and subscribe. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye bye.